In this problem, we've got a motorboat of mass 750 kilos is travelling in a straight line at 8 metres per second when its engine cuts out. After this, the boat is subject to a force of resistance of magnitude 60 V squared newtons, where V metres per second is the speed of the boat T seconds after the engine cuts out. Show that V is 200 over 25 plus 16 T. OK, so the boat is subject to a force of resistance of magnitude 60 V squared newtons. So when we're looking at F equals MA, we've just got that resistance force minus 60 V squared. OK, so resolving horizontally. And that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. So 750 times the acceleration, which is dV by dt. OK. So what I'll probably do first here is divide both sides by the 750. So minus 60 divided by 750 is minus 0 0.08. So we've got minus 0 0.08 v squared is equal to dv by dt. OK. So if I rearrange this, I'm going to divide both sides by the v squared, multiply both sides by the dt. So we're going to have v to the minus 2 dv is equal to minus 0 0.08 dt. And I'm going to integrate both sides. So adding 1 to the power and dividing by the new power, so we're going to get minus uh, 1 over v, so v to the minus 1, is equal to minus 0.08t plus some constant c. So if I um, multiply through by minus 1 and also multiply both sides by v, divide both sides by the by both sides as well, the minus 0.08t plus c. OK, I can get v is equal to. Now, through multiplying through by minus 1, I'm going to change this. Rather than writing it as minus c, I'm going to write it as plus a. So I'm going to change it the constant. So I'm going to have 1 over 0.08t plus some constant a. OK, so that's what I've currently got. Doesn't look precisely what I need to get to, but hopefully, by um, uh, finding A, I can manipulate this. So let's see what we've got. Well, we know that the initial velocity uh, when the engine cuts out is 8 metres per second. So when T is 0, V is 8. So we're going to have 8 equals 1 over, well, if T is 0, I'm just going to be left with 1 over A, aren't I? So that means that A is 1 over 8. So probably would have been preferable to um, uh, write the 0 0.08 back as a fraction, so the 2 over 25. OK, so let's do that. So we've got V is equal to 1 over, we've got 2 over 25T plus now 1 over 8. So in order to get rid of the uh, fractions here, I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom by 25 and top and bottom by 8. So 25 lots of 8 is 200. So multiplying top and bottom by 200, I'm going to get 200 over, or well, 200 lots of 2 over 25 is 16, so 16t. And 200 lots of 1 over 8 is 25. So I get precisely what I was asked to find there. Right, so that was A. So then B, how long does it take the boat's speed to reduce to 2 metres per second? So I can just put 2 in, and I need to solve this equation. OK? So if I multiply uh, both sides by the 16t, well, actually, if I divide both sides by 2 first, that'll make my life a little bit easier. Then I can multiply both sides by the 16t plus 25. Take 25 from both sides. And then divide 75 by 16. And we get 4.6875 seconds. OK? So that is how long it takes 
for the boat to reduce its speed down to two meters per second. 